what is up everyone and welcome to the channel welcome to another unboxing that i have right here um honestly i should just make an unboxing playlist i don't know how many i've done uh, within this past year so what am i unboxing today well well first off i have a paper here long list of things here that i sort of want to talk about as i'm doing this but this is the bar wing uh adjustable exercise weight bench it's a workout bench the wording is weird they have it worded on amazon as weight bench adjustable exercise which makes no sense it can hold up to 800 pounds um it does have an incline and decline i'm going to figure all that out it's a home gym basically house gym for me you have in your apartment and basically it has a dragon flag bar as well which is going to lead to the question well why do i either have bruce lee in the title or Saitama One Punch Man. I'm going to get to that. So the length, I think when it's built up, is approximately 50 inches. The height is up to 46.4 inches, just to give you an idea. And like I said, it can fold up against the wall, which hopefully I'll show, be able to show here. So, um, yeah. So why do I have it in the title? Well, first off, I'm getting this bench uh, because... You know, I started working at Deck Nine Games, uh, and on December fifteenth, in two thousand twenty-one. So, I am working remotely, and pretty much, you know, I have to sit down all day, every day, and you know, I'm a naturally fast runner, which I've shown videos. I've always been a naturally fast runner. Unfortunately, like I said, the poor high school, middle school I went to. Like, as I said, it was a small, poor school. It used to be like a former Baptist church building. And there were really no sports opportunities there. And then I ended up going into animation when I got into college and everything. But, yeah, sitting down every day, if you haven't, that's why I'm getting this bench. Hopefully, it'll, it'll help other people. Sitting down every day really takes a toll on you. It sucks. Um, but, yes. Like, basically, a year ago, I was still doing two-finger push-ups, which I can do. I have demonstrated it to people, um, like, in person or on video. I should have recorded years ago. But now it's basically a little bit more difficult over the past year since I've been sitting down every day. Now, I'm not, like, insanely fat or anything like that, nothing like that. But last time I went to the doctor and checked, I was, like, 190. So I don't know if it's mostly muscle I've been gaining or fat or what. But basically pretty much why I'm on, this is basically my journey of uh, starting a whole new exercise I haven't done before. I actually have some, sure brought it up here. So I have a uh, protein, some protein powder. I've never used protein powder before. I was never into that. So starting my new exercise journey with some dumbbells that I have around there. So why is Bruce Lee in the title? Well, if I put him in the title, I was a huge fan of him growing up as a kid, you know, in the 90s, early 2000s, you know. Vegeta was a huge inspiration, and so was uh, Bruce Lee. You know, growing up watching Dragon Ball, growing up watching Bruce Lee films, Jackie Chan films, and things like that. I was always into martial arts, but I was, like, too poor to get any classes done or anything like that or have an instructor. I've never had an instructor. So, there you go. Exercise um, instructions there. Some po Yeah, and I'm going to be doing this. So, but, yeah, um, never had an instructor or a trainer, a trainer or anything like that, right? So, basically, I was in my room. Uh, so I was a huge fan of Bruce Lee. I was in my room. This was in high school, around 2006, 2007, 2008 is when I started college. And I wrote it down here. And this is what I used to do. I know I'm talking a lot, but this is what I do in my unboxings. I wrote it down from memory. Yeah, there was sort of this exercise step machine. It was sort of broken. This It was raggedy. Get all it was it wasn't even really it didn't actually work. But I was stepping on it for approximately two hours and thirty minutes. I remember that. And I would jump rope for 40 minutes. 
immediately after that. Then I would do 500 squats, 500 stomach crunches, 500 push-ups, 500 kicks. It was like with each leg. I may have did 1,000 kicks. I'm trying to remember. Was it 500 kicks with each leg? I can't remember. But at least 500 kicks. One of these is 1,000. I did 500 to, I'm pretty sure, 1,000 punches on like, because the step machine was like a, it was a steel bar. So I was doing like 1,000 punches on that steel bar. I had no clue what I was doing, clearly. Which ironically, that's when I started having all my health problems back then and when my high blood pressure started. So that could have been the cause of everything back then, not sure. Um, the other thing is, for the past five or six years, I've been doing, in case you're curious, if I haven't the title, I'm not sure, I've been doing Saitama from One Punch Man series. I've been doing his training for the past five, six years, other than the 10 kilometers, whatever, the running portion. Uh, you know, I go out to the park and all that, but I don't have time to do too much. But for every day, with this vest over here, I'll show you. Because I've been telling people about this for years. I've been doing his training, the 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats every day with my 20-pound weight vest right here. That's what it says sitting over here. And I just wanted to show it on camera. Don't know if you can see it. 20-pound weight vest right here. So, actual weight is from, this is a Human X Harbing, yeah, Harbinger. I took this out to Bay Area when I was working at Pixar. Yeah, it's been holding up. I took it everywhere. So, I've even worn it in public at the park. But obviously, you can't wear this in just any place in public because it looks like a, you know, a B-O-M-B vest. So, but yeah. So, I've been doing that, using that. Not just normal 100 push-ups and sit-ups every day. And then eventually I increased to 200, right? Unfortunately, none of, like I said, I was doing it to disprove it, obviously. But I, like I said, there's just basic training, like you said in the show. Which is another reason that I say that based on training, Kid Kakarot, Kid Krill, and Master Roshi from early Dragon Ball would destroy a one-punch man with one punch themselves. Based on training. Based on the com comedic senses, no, they wouldn't beat him in his universe because he's like a joke gag character. But yes, I legitimately be doing that training. And it's within 24 hours. Instruction manual. And start taking this out. But yeah, so the two finger push ups have been getting difficult, but I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about. Basically, like this is the four fingers, but then two, right? And I used to be able to go down more, but I can't. I can still do the four like that, but no longer the two. So I'm trying to get back to that. And sitting down the chair every day has taken a toll and it sucks. There's my knife. So, oh, look at this. I know I'm talking a lot, but that's what I do, you know? My unboxings. And this, I don't know, was this 30 pounds? I don't know what the weight was on the bench itself. That's what I don't know. For some reason, I'm thinking 30 pounds. I don't know where I read that. Yeah, it feels between 30 and 40. And that's all it is. Okay. This might not be too bad. Oh, there's the pen that I saw in videos. Let's put some of that there. So there's the pen. I need this pen. Let me put this up here. But that pen is what you use to change the adjustments on the bench, pretty much. Uh, that's all that's in the box. And these are the pads. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like I can open it right now. Oh, let me read the instructions before I do that. It just, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Fold it up. Put up against the wall so you can see it. Hope you can see on the camera. Not sure what it looks like. But yeah, so the light up here is flickering. It's there may be a shortage. Just been doing that 
since December or January. Uh, the light. And I just have my LED, you know, that's my work light there. So, here it is folded up. Just showing you. Yeah. You know, I had to go with the blue color on it. Black and blue are actually two of my favorite colors. Look what I have on right now. Clearly, so... Had to go with that color. So, let me look at... Instructions. But yeah, you know, I'm just trying to... Get back into it. New exercise journey, man. I'm actually thinking about taking pictures every day. Maybe I do one of those time-lapse videos, like as a Broly or something. But yeah, I like I've already started a few weeks ago, about a month ago, doing the weights in there, just basic weights. Like curls and things like that. I was never into the heavy weights, right? Because what I was into was what Bruce Lee was doing. Like, he wasn't huge on getting huge muscles and all that. I've always been about a combination of like speed and power and I'm a fast person in general. But I'm not gonna be aiming to get huge muscles, but I wanna get raw solid muscles, you know, and really just lose his weight. Even my cholesterol levels been a little high. I went to the doctor, they checked that out. So, so I'm just reading, these are the assembly instructions. If you wanna wait for this part, Go ahead. If not, skip ahead. Maybe I'll put some timestamps to where I start the assembly. There's a handle one, handle two. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I knew there was more, obviously. All the bolts are in here. So, but yeah step-by-step -step process like I do all of my uh, unboxings hmm oh wow yeah they give you some serious stuff here Main body. Okay, assembly instructions are on page nine. That's the next page, which I figured. But let me get everything out. You know, hope I'm not missing anything. It's saying screw here, screw there. But the screws may already be in there, too. Yeah, that's just... Screws may already be in there. Like, that's it. So... And got these. Actually, maybe these are the screws. I was about to say, I thought it was broken. No, they just molded on there like that, sort of. Okay. And it's gonna... Yeah, that's it. And the gaskets are there. That's literally... This, this may be pretty simple compared to my other ones. This might be pretty simple. So... Screw the lock to adjust... Eventually, I just figure this out like I usually do. Oh. So, I have to twist that, which is that right there, to unfold. Okay, so, I can slide and the angle can be adjusted up and down. Then screws a locking bolt. Oh, so these are the adjustments. This is an assembly. I thought assembly was on nine. Oh, here it is. I skipped the page. Okay. Yeah, they tell me to pull it out.
to the figure below. So let's see if I can figure this out and they tell me to pull something out here. Oh, that's over there. Make some room. Let me just see. I think <laughs> I always do these like this, man. If you've seen my other unboxings, you know how slow I am at these things. But they tell me to put it like this. Let's try not to overthink it. Up like that, but they're saying either this or this. It's out. That's it. Came out easy. So now I'll fold the bench. Be careful not to completely fall down. What do you mean? With his face down, it's really difficult to tell from these pictures, but yeah, it's gonna come up like this now. There you go. I think I just turn it over, right? I think I turn it over. Oh, please assemble. So now I got to put those somewhere. It's really difficult to see right here. Oh, so these are, yeah, they should have put that. These are the dragon flag. Uh, but, well, that's another thing. I want to work my way up to do that, man, like Bruce Lee was doing. And I know, like, gymnasts, you know, the same gymnasts can do that. Like, I want to be able to do the dragon flags. That's the other thing. I was huge on, like, core exercises, right? And people used to ask me about that. Like, so I'm, like I said, I'm going to get back into all this. I'll show my workout progress as I'm doing my gameplay, working on animations. But they're saying this goes in here. So, yeah, at this point, I'm going to have to take it out. Where's that? Do I need it? Just to like twist it out, let me see. Yeah, I can't wait to get started though, man. I'm telling you guys. Sitting down every day, like I, like I said, I get out on the weekend, go to the park and stuff like that. Oh, another interesting thing off topic. And I was telling people at work again about this. But when I'm out, like I was at Walmart this weekend and I, you know, was walking. There was this woman. She was just in there shopping. I had sort of glanced at her maybe one second and then I turned the corner going the way, going to the restroom in there, right? Uh, which is a few hours down. And she stops me and says, excuse me, do you work here? And I told her, just sort of threw her my hands in, in, a, in a nice gesture way. Just said, no, but everyone thinks they work here. And I'm saying that because literally every weekend when I go out, like, people think that I work at the grocery store. I don't know if that's happened to anyone else, but it happens to me literally like every weekend. Um, it's strange. I'm like the universal, you know, assistant or something. Like, I remember last, this past December, maybe January, I went into Macy's, and right next door is JCPenney's, right? No, so I went to JCPenney first, and a woman asked me if I worked there. She was asking me about some product, or where can I find this and that. I told her I don't work there. Five minutes later, I walked over to Macy's. It was like literally right next door. And another woman asked me the same thing. It's interesting. Now, you know, some people think that, you know, well, I had someone in my family and I mentioned it to my job before. They say, well, maybe these women are doing that to try to get your attention so they could talk to you. I never thought of it that way. I don't know. 
But that's just something that happens to me, man. It's like everywhere it is, I was wearing my clothes for my job, which is an extremely stylish, stylish jacket. I've shown it on camera before. I just got it about a back in December. I got the jacket. And even before then, when I'd be wearing my Pixar jacket or whatever, it's like, you know, Walmart, they all wear a blue vest. And it doesn't matter what store I go in, it doesn't matter what I wear. Literally. Like, even if I'm not wearing the company's clothes at that store, or their dress code, right? Most of these places do have some dress code, or they wear vests or something, they have name tags. People all and I've had men ask me too, it's not only women, but people will ask me, do I work there? Maybe it's because I, I walk with a purpose, I'm very focused, business-like focused when I walk in the store. Like, I am not a slow walker either, so maybe that's partially why. But at the time in Macy's, J.C. Penney, when that woman asked me, I was sort of just looking down at my phone. Maybe she thought I was looking up a product. I was looking up a product on the phone. I told her that. I was like, yeah, I'm looking up a product. But it's sort of funny, man. Like, usually I do know where I'm going and where things are. But I don't actually work there. But no, this looks like... Honestly, this will be pretty. Doesn't seem stable. Let me tighten it. Can't. Maybe I need the other one. This is weird. This is not fitting. Yeah, this one fits. There you go. So that's there. Lift the bench. Pull out the fixed latch. Fix yeah, that's it. Successfully completed the assembly of your bench. And basically they're telling me I'm just going to turn it over. At this point. Um, the fixed latch is not in there. It, it was saying... So this is a different adjustment. Okay. Oh. See what they're saying. Face angle. Which, that's where the pads go on. This right here. So. I'm not sure if... Oh boy, these, oh it goes on. Pretty simple. Put this one on. Man, I feel like that could, I was going to say maybe I could glue it. Nah, I might put tape on the edge of these though, so it won't have the tendency to slide. It's pretty tight, but for enough rubbing around, I could definitely slide off. So you see, it's not, not too much pressure, not coming off. Just put some tape over that, just to be sure. So I'm trying to figure out. Huh. See, this can't go because you need to... Why? Well, so you have to change multiple things in order to get the bench going. Always tighten screws, blah, 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 blah. Oh, so flat bench, decline, and there's an incline bench you can do.
I'm reading the, um, I'll probably figure this out later. Um, attach the backrest to the ground. There's a leg to hold down. Okay. I think these are different positions that they have here and how you can use. So height adjustment. So this right here seems to be the key to folding it, right? Which is this here. So I'm curious. Like I can fold it right now. Right? I'm just testing it out. And so the latch. The latch will go there. It's still coming up though. <laughs> So maybe that's wrong. Or maybe this goes in there. Either way, like it can fold up with, you know, I don't need this. Huh. I'm just trying to figure out different adjustments. Let me figure some things out. I know you have to twist these off. I do see that. So. Oh, to adjust, you pull. Oh, it comes out. It, it came out when I pulled it. Hold up. Pull, and then you can turn it. Oh. It loosens, and you can slide it. Check that out. And then it snaps back. Oh. Oh. And move it down, it snaps. And then I can tighten it. It doesn't seem like it tightens too much, though. But it's just enough. Then here's the leg, which I guess you can adjust that. So the leg has two settings. Let me pull it. So you pull it out. And then it can move basically. So. Not really sure which one to put it on. But I'll tighten it there on that second one. I think I can twist it and tighten it. Yeah. So you can tighten it. There you go. Move that up and down. So I almost have the flat bench. So now I have to do this one. So this is how you do it. Is basically you have to pull it out. Oh, so here's the uh this is how you get it like this. So I think I had it flat, but then you could twist it. All right. But now I'd have to adjust this to get to the like that I'm not going to tighten it right now but just sort of showing and now I can pull it go up like here this is that angle they're talking about All right so now I can sit down in this baby yeah this moves around a lot here Maybe I need to tighten this. There's a hole. There is a hole. There's a pin. Wait a second. There's a pin for that. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe. 
So say I'm sitting here. So I want to do it on this one. Trying to get it in there. I think that's what this is pin is for. There you go. Look. So there you go. So that pin is there. It's pretty tight. It's a tight fit. Um there you go. Hold on. Be right back. I'm gonna get my dumbbells. Okay, so I have my dumbbells. So like I said, the the leg space here, like dude. My legs are together, man. Like a girl. I don't know. <laughs> my legs are like super. It's really tight squeeze. I will say that. If you have massive legs, you're a cyclist and you have massive legs, you're not going to fit in here. Um, no matter how you adjust it. So, you know, if you really need this, yeah, you're not going to make it work. Outside of that, just a normal bench here, you know. Let me see. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Enough room. So. All right. So, that's it. And pretty much, basically, again, I can, you turn it into a twist. Oops. So that goes lower, right? And then that's when I can do my sit-ups. Like if I put it down to the lowest, I think. All right. At least I thought that was one of the, uh... let me see. I thought you could do that. Cause they have different uh, positions here, I think. Or maybe not. So that was that pin, which, you know, like I said, I just figured it out. Backrest. Hmm. This maybe, I'll see if I can fold it up again. It may be complicated. I think this is a position I can do. Let me see something. I'm looking at the pictures here, just so you can see. So I figured out the angle bench stuff. This picture, reverse sitter, which, yeah, I want to do. Oh. So yeah, that one is, let me see how comfortable this is. All right. So basically saying I could be like this, right? I can have my dumbbells. It holds. See, I'm back here. Sit up. Just going back. You can see. Just testing it out. Um, yeah, that's exciting, man. Dude, I can't wait. 
Going Broly, Bruce Lee mode. Um, wait, what was the other one? Right now, I'm just looking at the pictures, trying to get off positions. Oh, so the other one here says... This can go down more. Yes, there. Hmm. I wonder how stable that would be. Yeah. They're saying I go like this. Is there much room for this? Yeah. Hmm. The only thing is it does, like you have to really put your legs in there. Like I said, if you have massive legs, like calves and everything, it's not gonna work. You see, I'm back here. I don't know if you can see it. Legs are up through here. My feet just barely fit, you know. Going up, down, up, down. It's not too comfortable. <laughs> I'll try it. And that position is not too comfortable on this bench. So. And there you go. Like I said, see like this already. The more you use it. Slides. I say get some duct tape. Honestly, I'd probably do that. Duct tape, uh just on top so it won't move around go past that point other than that i like it man i'm gonna try it you know you got the dragonfly dude i can't wait i'm excited it sort of is like a mini home gym uh i said the cushion is nice and soft i sat on it you know so but yeah guys uh let me get some of this out of the way Gonna end the video here soon. Put this back up. But basically with this, all you do is you pull it out, you turn it this way until it slides up. Um I don't want that. I wanted that to 90 again. What you think? They're saying it's that one. Since that one's sort of separated down there. Then here, like that. So, there you go. I still want to turn it around. What? There you go. So, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple to put together. You just saw it. If you watched all this, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. Um, the back, you know, the back felt nice. The back felt nice when I sat on it. The chair is pretty wide. You know, I think I could curl here. See? Warm down. I could always lower this if that gets in the way, but I'm probably not. It's a nice cushion there. You know, it works, man. I don't know what to tell you all. Like I, I suggest buying it. I got this for, I think it's on 139. It's, it's for sale 139 right now. I'm pretty sure that's what I paid for it. There's like 15 left, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still on sale. There's only 15 left in stock on Amazon, so check it out. If you need a bench, you know, at the house, your apartment, wherever. It's, uh, and so I'm going to try to fit it in my tight space next to my bed, either where that, where I had that Pixar bag, um, next to my bed or on my other side where I charge my phones at. But I'll figure all that and then move my, uh, theater speaker around somewhere. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna assemble all that. But right now, it's 
So based on everything I did, I'm thinking this pin has to come out. Uh, in order to put it back up. I'm going to go ahead and put it back up at this point. So... Start the next clip here. Okay, so last portion of the clip here, what I want to do is is just try to fold it back up so it can go up against the wall. And then maybe I'll take it around in the room and show you my tight little space over there that I'm talking about. Um, this is not how you put it back up. It, I think I have to take that... Uh, your yeah, folding instructions. Because I'm going to have to take the pin out of this. Put it back in. That's the only way. What I'm confused about is that pin there. Which was this. It didn't seem... But let's try it. It didn't seem like it worked earlier. Honestly. Um, so... Hold on real quick. Hold on. Okay, battery is running low, so let me hurry up. Quick, quick. And it's on the other side. But from what I understand, Just have to let it all the way down. I can tighten it. I really don't even have to tighten it, but I will for now. All right. This, you know, I think that latch goes through here. That latch part goes through here, which means that you could probably lock this at any point or something through all of those. I don't know. Maybe that's wrong thinking. For right now, let's just do it the normal way. Let's just... I think this goes down. I'm pretty sure. Like that. There's a bar there. I don't know what that's about. It's folding. That's all it is. Pretty much I could end there. But yeah, so basically, this is what I thought, but then you have to take this out, right? And put that down there like that. I sort of want it like, yeah, put it on the bottom one. Dang, it sucks. You got to sort of do this every time with like you gotta really squeeze this thing to get it in there it is so there you go that's it um then you take this I think Nah, it's here. So it's one of these again, too. I don't like pressing these, but that one's easier. Is that right? It came out easy. So. See, I don't think that's right. That's weird, man. It comes out super easy. See? This side is pretty much nothing. That's what I was trying to figure out. Like, so this is the only thing I don't like or I can't figure out. Look how easy that went in. You see? That's super loose. I mean, it seems like I can fold it anyway. So I, I may be doing that part wrong. I may be doing that wrong. Yeah, it says it goes there. I 
Oh, that's what I was looking for. So I was doing, yeah, that's what, yeah, that latch that I mentioned earlier, I was correct. I was correct about that latch. Bring this up. I don't know how it fits there, though. It doesn't match up. So. Ah, wait a second. Here. There you go. It's a loose thing. It's not like it. Yeah, so that's where that goes, but you can just pull it out. So, don't think that that latch is a secure thing, but it's good enough. It's not secure, but it works. And there's a handle, and I can move it around, blah, blah, blah. So, let me go around here. So, there's a handle. That's what that handle was. So, now I can carry it, right? Like a, a business bag, <laughs> right? I should have put a pad there. It's tough. But let me go around here and see if I can put it somewhere. But see, I'm either thinking, yeah, it's a little more full of my bed. Either here on this side next to my um, Pixar bag. Up against the wall there. But it fits. And if you have no room, if you had a big enough bed, you could lay it under the bed. It's not that big. Either here, I remember I tested my subwoofer over here in my uh my Vizio um soundbar system when I did that testing video so I can put this up against the wall there and then the bench is going to spread out this is where I usually work out here is this tight space or or I could bring it over here like I said nothing over here in this space this is where my subwoofer is at my other exercise these little you pull these do nothing man I tried these got them a few months ago you pull a little I don't know what they're called. You pull them, they're supposed to do something. They don't do anything for me. Um, that's how I'm doing the weights. And getting back to some more vigorous exercises. But, yeah. I'm thinking about fitting this over here. I'm not sure. But then I'm going to clear what I have back here out of the way. And move this to the other side. Over there, possibly. Move my subwoofer underneath this little thing, too. Put everything over there. I'll figure it out. That's pretty much it. Um, so again, uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you liked it, like the video if it helped you out, you know, subscribe. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy is coming soon. Like I said, I'll be showing progress of my workout, um, you know, as the months go by. Um, I have a scale too, a weight scale. So I'm, I found the guy on YouTube who has a pretty good dumbbell exercise routine. And I'm going to continue doing my 100 push-ups and... 200 push-ups, 200 squats, you know, 200 sit-ups every day. I'll continue doing that using the weight vest. But I may use, you know, now that I have this bench and I'll be able to do the um, that sort of incline, you know, sit-up crunches, I may not be using the weight vest for a while. I may just try it with the weight and I'll go raw with it. So thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. See ya.